Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. In my previous video, we got to unbox this Ink Plate 6 Plus. It's an e paper display from Soldered Electronics. Fully featured, includes touch, uh, backlight. And we're going to go ahead and work through the prerequisites to begin working with this in Arduino IDE. Oh, and their library here on GitHub even includes the 3D printed parts so that you can print your own case for the 6 Plus. So I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah, there's the bottom. We'll just have to flip that over. I do recommend printing the case top first. It takes less time to print it. That will just enable you to see if you need to scale the final printed parts to get it to fit accurately. Mine was a little snug. We'll go ahead and slice it. Save out the G code. And we'll drop those over here in Octoprint and get printing. There we go. That print's underway. So let's get back to working through the rest of the prerequisites here. Again, the directions on Soldered's GitHub site. They even list the specific battery that fits. Uh, I had that on on hand, but it was too thick and it had the wrong connector, so I went ahead and ordered the battery that they listed. Now, yeah, let's see. Yeah, it's a little snug. Wouldn't quite snap into the case. You know, you're going to get that sometimes. So I went ahead and scaled it like a half a percent, so 100.5. Now, they include these countersunk screws, but I found that it wouldn't quite reach all the way through to close that. So I went ahead, I just used some three millimeter screws I had laying around there. So not quite as lovely as the countersunk, but I'll go down to Ace Hardware and get some countersunk screws that'll work. It has a nice sturdy feel with that case and everything. It's actually got a nice heft to it without being too heavy. So we're back to preparing the prerequisites in Arduino IDE. You want to copy their board definition URL. And so, additional board manager URLs is under File, Preferences. Go ahead and paste that in there. And we'll click OK. Click OK again. you got to wait a minute because it spends some time downloading the package for those boards. So I'm, I'm holding my powder there. Finally, I see that goes and it's time to go into Board Manager and we'll search for Ink Plate. There we go. Ink plate boards by eRadonica, including the Ink Plate 6 Plus. We're installing that. Again, that takes a few minutes. We'll crop some of this out, I guess. Okay, the board's installed. So now we can go Board Manager, and you see Ink Plate Boards, and we select the Ink Plate 6 Plus. They also include a link to the CH340 driver, and my laptop was recently uh, reloaded, so I need to, to install the driver again. Yeah, just keep clicking. All right, so the driver is successfully installed. And you can see here in Device Manager, now I'm on Serial COM10 and it is recognized as the CH340. So now I can also select my port. COM10. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just download the zip of the library from the Soldered Electronics GitHub site. And that's the ink plate Arduino library, just like you see there. And I'm just gonna copy the ink plate Arduino library master folder into my Documents Arduino Libraries folder. There we go. Documents Arduino Libraries. And paste it there. We'll have to crop some of this out. Yeah, take a look through all the examples in this library. Leave a comment down below if there's a specific example you'd like to try. I'm just going to work through some of the ink plate basic features to get a feel for working with ink plate. But there's a lot here in this library, a lot of examples. I can't almost think of anything different that they haven't already done in here. So, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll take a look. Yeah, we're going to do that ink plate SD pictures and SD text file, too. I like that. 
and under the basic functionality we'll just do ink plate black and white ink plate basic gray and I'd like to do this touch screen draw the ink plate basic touch screen draw program that looks pretty interesting oh yeah we got to do ink plate basic front light as well okay there's the game of life as an example sketch from the community contributions yeah there's a lot of great examples here weather crypto tracker two weather stations Google Calendar I like the news API example yeah again leave a comment down below on which of these example sketches you'd like to see take a look at the library the link for that's in the description down below as well okay here we are getting started yeah at first I went to send a program and didn't go you have to make sure to press the power button and the on light should be on then you're ready to upload yeah I went through a troubleshooting tried different cables and it's like oh yeah if I push this button this light comes on okay so we're gonna go into the ink plate library go into ink plate 6 plus and go into the basic functionality we'll start out with ink plate basic black and white okay so this includes an image embedded in that hex code there one of the things that you find about this library is it's well commented and the other interesting thing is I didn't have to download any other third-party libraries into the Arduino IDE add a fruit graphics library is required but if you don't already have that in your Arduino IDE then you're really starting from ground zero I think it I think it's in the Arduino IDE by default I don't ever recall installing it yeah so, so through all the example sketches I showed today no other third-party library is required and the interesting thing too was when you boil it down yeah this here's a bunch of hex code but that's an image when you look at the actual code it's remarkably simple meaning most of the complex functionality is in the include files there's not a lot of messing around it, it, it was a lot easier than working with some of the other e-paper e products I've had the opportunity to work with in the Arduino IDE okay this is basic black and white yeah I left the screen protector on there so you see those dark gray bubbles that's the screen protector out don't worry I'll take it off I'm so embarrassed <laughs> yeah I'm speeding this up a little bit there was longer delays it's just basically black circles squares we get some lines going there rectangles yeah here I'll take that protective cover off there that that looks so much better okay up next we're going to go with ink plate basic front light that's an interesting feature that I don't have on any of my other e-paper displays I just want to see what it looks like lit up yeah all the complexity of the codes kind of hidden in the include files in the source files there we go lit it up I had to turn off one of my lights here that was lighting my work table but you can see that would be very readable in the dark next up ink plate basic gray there's actually seven colors from zero to six and this is going to demonstrate all of the colors that are available on the ink plate six plus they refer to this LCD image converter I'm going to see if I can't track that down and get the right program for that I think that's available on SourceForge again relatively simple code pretty straightforward I even did a little customization after I got through making this video and found it pretty easy to work your way through doing something different than what the example sketch had now this is doing again all of those different rectangles lines and you can see this depth of color there that's really very interesting again I'm speeding this example sketch up okay so let's do the basic touch screen draw sketch that caught my eye you know when I was a kid etch a sketch was a thing so <laughs> yeah if you don't know what etch a sketch is it's this red frame with this gray panel and it has two knobs for X and Y and you do a little drawing on your etch a sketch yeah this is fun it just basically connects one the last point to the next all right so now we're going to 
portray some images from the SD card that's built into the ink plate. So I'm going to take a couple of example of Shotoku Tech's channel art, turn it into grayscale, and I'm resizing it to the same size as their examples that they included. That was 1024 by 758. Don't ask me how they arrived at that. It's just, I went with it because that's what they did. There's Shotoku. Convert him to grayscale. I should have found a different image. He came out just a little washed out going through this, but uh, hey, got to do what you got to do. 1024, 758. And again, here you can see I'm not fitting that front bezel. The, the, the rescaled parts are printing in the background right now while I'm working on this. Okay, so here's the first picture off the SD card. That comes through quite nice. But a lot of the detail is still there. And there's Shotoku. Yeah, see, it just kind of got kind of blurry because basically I upscaled it instead of downscaling a higher resolution image. SD text. I, I'm confused. I can't tell because it's got a reference to the size of the file and it also says may not have any more than 200 characters. I really didn't work out what that meant. Yeah, see, yeah, here in the code it says if file size greater than 3000. Yeah, so I loaded my own text, a little uh, Sun Tzu Art of War action there. You see, it's very readable at this scale. Okay, well, I hope you had fun with working through some of these example sketches for the Inkplate 6 Plus. You can get it here at soldered.com. They list these other locations where you can purchase it. Eridonica is actually the old soldered.com website, and they refer you to go to the soldered electronics page, but all of the documentation that you might refer to is at the eRadonica page. You can also get Inkplate 6 Plus at Crowd Supply. They listed a couple of other sources, but uh, they weren't in stock there. So give this video a like, leave a comment down below, and before you go watch more of my videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.